Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Welcome back to another lecture on Jenkins. Okay, so in the previous lecture, we have uh, configured a role based authentication to our different different users. But as you recall, we have not tested for our SAM user. Okay, so in this uh, tutorial, we'll try to assign and see how we can create a role of a project based authentication. Okay using the same plugin okay now go to manage Jenkins and again manage plugins and manage roles okay so uh, I have fine-grained the permissions here okay as compared to our previous lecture uh, which was just for testing so now we'll try to apply it on a real project based scenario so for our dev role just give it an overall permission to read okay and leave everything and under view give it for all the permission under view section okay now leave it now go to project based role that is item role we'll create a new role that is gen docker project okay docker project so if we go back to our dashboard we can see we have a maven docker project and i have realized that i have done a plenty of typo here okay maven it should be maven but okay uh, now let me copy this name okay and i'll the pattern would be this and asterisk okay and this is a case sensitive so what i'm giving now at I'm creating a role to view, edit, and do anything for this Maven Docker project. Okay, so I'll give again all the permissions. Okay, so I have given all the permissions. Now, what I'll do, I'll do apply. I'll not do save, I'll do apply. And now I'll, I'll try to show you something. See if I click this, it is showing that okay, we have a matching project that is Maven Docker. Okay, and suppose if I go to this deploy and click this, it, it says okay, we have a matching project that is deployed. Okay, that is pretty cool. Now again we go to manage things and go to assign roles. Okay, uh, one thing uh, make sure that you don't have this anonymous user. Uh, assigned to any role okay so what it will do suppose if, if you try to log out to your Jenkins uh, portal it will show it will list out all your uh, Jenkins project okay so make sure this user doesn't have any kind of permission okay now we'll try to add up Adam user Adam add okay and now I'll assign it to talk project okay now let's save it and let's log out so now let me try to log in as an adam adam user adam adam yes now you can see i can only view maven docker project okay if i go to this and i can do anything i can configure i can build now i can do anything okay so this is how you can fine grain your Jenkins uh, project to project access to different users. Like suppose if you have a tester, if you have a developer, then again, uh, if I wish I could have given my item user only to do build for this. Okay, I, I suppose I don't want to even give him a permission to do configure and anything. I just want to give it a build now permission. Uh, so I think you know how to do this. As, and we can do that now let me log out and try to go to the SAM user yes you can see the SAM has only a deploy permission uh, a permission to view only a deploy project okay so log out and admin admin 
Now one thing I want to show you if I go to manage Jenkins manage assign roles assign roles okay you need to add your both users okay into their global roles so suppose if I remove this okay I, I have removed the Sam and just save it and log out and then try to log in Sam Sam see it is showing the Sam is missing the overall read write permission okay overall read write permission now let me go back log out manage Jenkins manage roles okay so here you can see we have defined an overall under overall we have given a read permission and we have set this to a dev role okay so to to overcome that error we need to assign a SAM user okay to our where a SAM user yes, to our dev role where we have defined okay we have defined an overall a global overall permission or a read permission okay so uh, this is for this is all for this role based access i hope you get to understand everything now so thank you so much for this one i'll see you in a